eight and a half G's, you're really being pushed into the seat. And all of a sudden, it stops. And you're floating. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. The crew went through the preparation process. They reported we were ready. I had a tracking station make sure that all of the safety criteria had been met. And this was now OK to open up the hatch. OK, we're giving you a go for your EVA at this time. OK. Roger, flight, let's go. Okay. After we got the hatch open, uh, they had stood up in the seat and they got ready to go and and um, we cleared him to go and then he took and pushed off from the seat. Okay, my feet are out. I think I'm dragging a little bit so I don't want to fire the gun yet. Okay, I'm separating from the space ground. Ed White is flying at 17,000 miles per hour. 200 miles above the Earth. OK, I'm out. If the spacesuit fails, the difference in pressure will kill him instantly. If the lifeline fails, he'll literally be lost in space. The only thing to do would be to disconnect them and let them float around out there. I mean, it was, you know, this, these are things that's in everybody's mind. We don't have a plan. We don't have a checklist on how you kill your best friend. As White floats in space, a glove drifts out of the capsule. Looks like a thermal glove, Jim. I don't even know whose glove it was. I don't know whether it was his or mine. I feel like a million dollars. Today, those pictures are, are, are classic. They're still overpowering today to realize, number one, it's been done and that we did it. It blew me away. This is the greatest experience I've, it's just tremendous.